Alright, are those kids still up here? Nope. Well, hopefully they'll be a lot nicer. And respectable. And respecting. <laughs> she just moved out of the way. I was gonna plow right through. Uh, what floor was it? First floor? I think is where the uh, teacher's offices are. Is that right? Uh, no. Didn't mean to do fourth floor. Yep, this is still wrong. So, second floor. And, okay. That's weird, because I thought this office was uh, below our classroom. Not on the same floor. And she's not here. Hi there. Has Sawa Sensei gone home? Actually, she's in a meeting with the chairman. So then she's at his office? Yes, but I think they may have some visitors. Gotcha. Thanks. A visitor for Sawa Sensei. Maybe she'll be busy for a good while. There's that photo I wanted to peek at earlier. This may not be my finest hour, but it could still make for a useful clue. So Sawa Sensei had suspected Mikoshiba was a bully. Maybe she wasn't being honest with me before? Yeah, I think that's very likely. Hey, what the? Suspicious. Sawa Sensei is an English teacher, so he's teaching Mikoshiba English, too. That's true. What the? Attendance book for class 2-2. Two -two. That's right, she's their homeroom teacher. Yep. Um, anything else? Anything in the trash, if I can angle right? No? Okay. I guess there's just a photo, though. Looks like a photo of Sawa Sensei's high school days. Her uniform's different from what they were wear here. I can see part of a photo of a male serial high school. Hi, student. I'm sorry to do this, but... And none of the teachers in there are gonna say anything? Might get caught. Never seen this face before. At least it's not Hiro Mikoshiba. Is this Ihara's son? The boy who killed himself four years ago? I think it is, actually. Odd for a teacher to have a picture of a single random student on her desk. I can't confirm his identity right now, though. I should look for Sawa Sensei. She could be in the chairman's office. Guess all that's relevant. I'm surprised no teacher said anything, especially these guys behind me. I should look for Sawa Sensei. She could be in the chairman's office. Yep, the chairman's office, I think, is. Uh, third foot? No, probably fourth floor. Or it's third floor. I don't know what's on what floor yet. <laughs> Not too familiar. Yagami-san, those men are with the Kanagawa police. They said they're here to make inquiries about Mikoshiba-kun's disappearance. And they asked to see Sawa-sensei too? Yes. But I have to ask, can you tell me what's really going on? You were asking questions about Mikoshiba-kun as well. I should leave it to the police to fill you in on that. I mean... Their sources are probably more recent than mine. They should have the latest details. Mikashubakun is... no longer with us, is he? Then it's just as I feared.
have a feeling we're gonna see that guy down the line. Oh, and that's the end of chapter two. Wow, we spent a lot of time at that school then. A lot. Two months ago, a young man named Hiro Mikashiba went missing during his stint as a student teacher. Mikashiba quickly becomes the center of attention when his rotting corpse is discovered. And Yagami scours the school for any clues left behind. Rumor has it, Mikashiba drove a classmate to suicide in his student days. A rumor that the school faculty is seemingly unable to deny. Two Sides of the Same Coin, Chapter 3. Hmm. Hopefully we learn more about Mikoshiba in this chapter? We'll see. This article might be about Mikoshiba, but it's not reporting the identity of the corpse. Does that mean the police are still withholding information? Their interview with Sawa-sensei seems to be taking an awful long time. Yagami-san, why are you still here? Because I care. Now, if you're open to the idea, you think we could walk and talk? Why? So you can grill me with more questions? You realize the police just finished doing that, yes? I figured they'd come knocking sooner or later. Then you knew Mikoshipa-kun was murdered, didn't you? And that's why you've been snooping around our school. You're not wrong, but can we please take this elsewhere? <sighs> If you knew Mikoshiba was murdered, why didn't you tell me up front? Because that information's not public. Didn't the police ask you to keep quiet about it? Well, yes, but even so... What sort of questions were they asking you anyway? I thought I was supposed to keep quiet. Cute. Now I'm going to ask you one last time. Please, stay off our campus. You don't belong here. I mean, what if you end up injuring a student? It would be a nightmare for all of us. Nobody's getting injured. All that's water under the bridge now. Is that so? Yeah, and I should probably mention, I'm the new advisor of the Mystery Research Club. I have the chairman's approval and everything. So, it looks like I have a place here after all. What? Since when? I think we're getting sidetracked here. Did the police ever mention a suspect? No. All they told me was what happened to Miko Shibakun. That he's no longer a missing person. That he's dead. And was dumped in a derelict building. My condolences. That was all we found out. The police were the ones asking the questions, not us. They hardly gave us room to breathe. Yeah, sounds like an interrogation, all right. Are the police keeping Ihara's connection under wraps while they investigate this murder? Probably keeping it secretive, but I'm sure they have their suspicions. Is there anything else? Actually, there is. I'd like to know your thoughts on Miko Shibakun's killer. What? For example, take Akihiro Ehara, a man who took this school to court over his son's suicide. Miko Shiba came up even then, as a culprit bearing some responsibility for that. Ehara san? But he got arrested for that groping incident at the train station. So the police really are keeping their lips sealed. Must you always be so cryptic? It's possible Ihara-san had a hand in Mikoshiba's murder. What? Despite being incarcerated for two months, he knew exactly where the corpse would be. He revealed it upon being sentenced. This was before the Kanagawa police had even ID'd the body. Then... was it really Ihara-san? A court would say being in jail is about as solid an alibi as you can get, but he could be connected somehow. How do you know all this, Yagami-san? 
I'd tell you, but I showed you one of my cards, so now it's your turn. Uh, huh? I've heard you weren't as big a fan of Mikoshiba as you led me to believe. That true? <sighs> this again. You knew he was a bully all along, but yesterday you told me he wasn't the type. I just want to get the story straight here. <sighs> Did you have a sudden change of heart, or were you lying to me for some reason? It's not that simple. Oh, one more thing I learned today. It was Miko Shiba who turned the basketball club against Kodasan. Pretty sadistic for a would-be teacher, don't you think? That's enough. Then it's not a stretch to say he probably was a major factor in the death of Ahara's son four years ago? And I think it's also safe to assume you know more than you're letting on, right? This is murder we're talking about here. Lies aren't doing anyone any favors. His name was Toshiro. Sorry? Everyone keeps saying Ahara's son. Like he's just another statistic. He had a name for heaven's sake. Toshiro. Right. I'm sorry. Now if you'll excuse me, I have papers to grade. Sawa-sensei, please. Nine o'clock tonight. I'll be at Plage on Izazaki Road. We'll finally have a real talk? Something like that. Alright, so now we'll be making some progress with uh, Sawa-sensei then. Hopefully we'll actually get somewhere with uh, Mikoshiba. You know, actually, while I'm here, I... Oh, that was that one side case we did. Cool. Um... Where can I find... Maybe under tasks? Ah. Unable to progress. What? Ah, never mind then. I was hoping to do one of them, but I guess it won't let me do that. Cause I know there's at least the first case in that, but it's not gonna let me do it. So. Yeah. Kaito san So I just left the school, and tonight I'm. Wait, where are you? <laughs> Third stop of our bar crawl. That's where. I thought work was done for the night. Licking the wounds of rejection, huh? Is the 99 gang with you? Just Sugiura. Tsukumo said he had to get back to the office to take care of some kind of system trouble. A computer crash or something? I don't know. Something about a buzzy searcher going haywire. I pretty much tuned it out, man. Anyway, you gotta come take his place? Nah, I gotta stay sober. I'm meeting Sawa-sensei in a bit. You what? God. Damn it, man, you are killing me today. Would you simmer down? This is work, not whatever it is you're doing. Oh, then I ought to come be your backup. Where are we headed? Come on, you think I need a drunk co-pilot? Knock one back for me, though. Hey, I better not find out you two got it on. Don't do this to me, Talk. <laughs> Sounds a little drunk already. I still have plenty of time before our meetup. Maybe I should drop by Sukumo's place? Yeah, I'd probably stop by his place and uh... Check how he's doing. Probably lead to a side case? Or maybe something that'll lead to the investigation. That was a little goofy of a jump. Might as well. Gets a little bit more SP. And these fights are pretty quick, actually. I'll probably switch it up for some of these brawls, then, at least. And Oh, actually, let's check how much SP we got. 11,000. Yeah, we're doing battle bonus. I don't really need it for the EX. It's boosting pretty well. Um, I haven't really been worried with the grip. Boost 
Boost health? Yeah, let's boost health a little bit. Yeah. What? Learn three or more tiger skills. <laughs> but I don't wanna. I like the snake style. Come on. That's pretty cheap. Might as well. And... Mm. Yeah, that'll do. Tiger, this will do. Really, guys? Might as well. Get a little bit of SP while we're out and about. I can get used to uh, the tiger and crane styles again since I've been just using snake ever since I unlocked it. It's so cool. But being able to use the other styles will help too. What a waste. Because I won't be surprised if they end up locking it. Sorry, not locking it, but um, locking me to have to use a certain style. For instance, like a challenge where. Uh, take down X amount of enemies, but you need to use only uh, Tiger style or Crane style to do so. I guess some of the goals in that app too are regarding. Are you kidding me? Require X amount of. Uh, score by getting these coins while skating. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's find a bail on it. It's hoping to grind, but it works. Alright, time check on Tsukuma. Yagamishi, how was school? Kaito-san wasn't happy about you going solo, you know. Eh, he'll live. He can cry about it to Sugiura. So he does. Anyway, I couldn't help but notice Skenda Law bending your ear earlier. Anything important? Right. I haven't filled you in yet, have I? So a policeman arrested for sexual battery might have actually been involved in a murder? Fascinating, if not perplexing. Yeah. And its roots could very well be Serio High School, where a student was driven to suicide four years ago. In fact, the motive for this murder may even be revenge. Tsukumo, could you find any mention of that suicide online for me? Already done, I'm afraid. Once the chairman asked us to take his case, I looked into everything on the school I could find. If memory serves, he was a third-year student who hung himself at home. The name of the deceased... Toshiro Ehara. Yeah, that's him. So, while I did find some murmurings about it online, nothing really substantial ever surfaced. He didn't leave a suicide note or a will, and investigators never found anything salient. So I was right before. No mistaking it, that's the same person as the photo on Sawa Sensei's desk. Yeah, and that would make sense. I guess... Why, uh, uh, she has such a stance on suicide, and also has this picture. I wonder what her relationship was with him was then. I wonder if she knew him, was really close to him. Hmm. His father, however, suspected there may have been a bully, and promptly took Serio to court. But without enough evidence to back it up, the system more or less spit him out. Even so, the lawsuit dragged on until this year. But that level of news hardly makes a ripple online. Yeah, I doubt it would. And that's all the intel I've dug up regarding the case. Huh? <laughs> What's 
that sound? I'm testing a system I've been tinkering with. I thought I'd fixed this bug already. A system for what? Well, it predicts the occurrence of crimes. It predicts crime? No way. <laughs> Perhaps that was a bit of hyperbole. But it does come pretty close. Essentially, this system is designed to monitor and detect danger zones within a specific area. The city itself, to be exact. That still sounds pretty amazing. If you say so. I basically cobbled it together out of pre-existing tech. Yagamishi, do you remember when I used my chatter search program for you not too long ago? Oh yeah, that was a real trip. I pretty much hacked chatter to see an entire social network at a glance. Yep, and this system I've developed is a souped up version of that. Though there are substantial differences, the principle is still... Uh, how about you just try it out? We'll start with this little window. It displays all relevant chatter posts after filtering the fluff. And these posts are all pinpointed on this map of Ijincho? Right. It maps out where in Ijincho each specific post was made. So my AI constantly combs through chatter's database as it updates in real time. Then it extracts only the trouble-related chatter for display on the map. So it actively seeks out trouble? It's wild that you can program around such a vague concept. Well, in its current iteration, the AI isn't exactly genius material yet, so it still pings some false positives. There's something else, Tsukumo. What are you going to use it for? I'd like to use it for promotional purposes. Like advertising? Yeah. Since we're still relatively new in town, we don't have the kind of rep that brings in regular business. Oh, uh, okay. And that is where my buzz researcher comes into play. Buzz researcher? Consider the glut of trends and terms strewn across social media. These buzzwords are sometimes clues to trouble beneath the surface. So, when the system picks up one of these words and we rush over to save the day, the hope is our reputation will flourish as a result. Damn, that's some pretty intense marketing you've got going. Well, we probably won't be paid for impromptu cases, so this is sort of an upfront investment. But directly intervening before a situation gets out of hand will build us the brand we want. Uh, at least in theory. I'm not sure how it'll all pan out yet. Well, I think you've got something there, Tsukumo. Mind if I give it a shot? I thought you'd never ask. Though the system's got a long way to go by my standards. But with you as a tester, I know I'll get strong enough feedback to have this baby running in top form. <laughs> so you wanted me as your guinea pig all along. You sure cracked that case quick. Anywho, let me get this app booted up on your phone. May I do the honors? Go right ahead. Hmm. Okay, and I wonder if that this should is... do it. Going into here a side case. Okay, let's see here. Um, this is just a big mess. How am I supposed to know where to go? Hmm. This is indeed too much noise. In fact, this is entropy in motion. This won't do it all. To solve this, we narrow down the keywords. In other words, simplify our search? Yeah. By manually filtering keywords, we can decrease false positives, thereby locating the right spot more accurately. Well, how do we do that? Does the AI do it for us? No, not entirely. What the AI does is pick up on any keywords it deems important. Emphasis here on the word any. Meaning it'll turn out duds every now and again. Yeah, that's still pretty busy. And therein lies the predicament. To narrow these results down any further, we must depend on instincts, experience, and even inspiration. So you're saying human intuition? <laughs> Precisely. Even in this day and age, human intuition will trump AI every time. That is, until we all become cyborgs. But that's getting ahead of myself. As it stands, Yagamishi, You've got the best intuition out of all of us. Well, let's just start with a post that smells like trouble. Suck to keyword search. this one? I can smell the trouble brewing already. Oh, interesting. And let's filter our results around that specific term. And there you have it. See, there's a concentration of suspicious keyword usage on this street here. As to what sort of trouble is brewing, you'll have to rely on your good old-fashioned eyeballs. Shady activity isn't always the easiest to spot, so maybe think of it as a sort of treasure hunt. 
A treasure hunt for trouble, huh? Does sound right up my alley. <laughs> Doesn't it? I can already picture you out there, helping people in need until it all pays off. What could await you at the end of the trail? My heart rate is already spiking. I'm just glad to have a helpful app for once. You know what? That reminds me. I also have a gadget here you may find useful. Can't always be glued to your phone, right? What is this? It's a high-end sound collector. It boosts the volume of mid-distance sounds, making them easier to hear from farther away. A sound collector, huh? I could use this to pick up cries for help, or even eavesdrop all over town. That's the idea. With enhanced hearing and geolocation capabilities, you'll be a trouble terminator. <laughs> Just like I've always wanted. Noise amp. My inventory now, is full. I do have some other gadgets in the works, but I'm still fine-tuning their UI. I'll show you soon enough. Looking forward to that. Hmm. This will be neat with gadgets and stuff. Got a keyword. Ragnet man. And sorry about that pop-up on Far Cry 6. I didn't have time earlier today to, uh, hot spots in town. Where information flows freely. Text away in various corners of the city. Your hangouts where locals gather to chat and exchange gossip. For frequenting these hangouts, you can gather useful information and learn new keywords that can be used around town or on chatter. Oh, okay. Hey, sorry about the pop-up in Far Cry 6. I was, uh, hoping to download it earlier today, but... Didn't have time, so I had to after I got out of work. That's a bigger download, too. Had downloading for three hours, and I guess it just got done, and apparently not enough space. So, after I'm done recording this, uh, before I get some shut eye, I'll have to throw the PlayStation on rest mode and. Also, probably free up some space, and then hopefully it'll fully download. Might as well use the EX mode. EX move. This guy will stop kicking me. Ooh. Really, Can't install the add-on. Are you kidding me? Be back in this in one sec, guys. Just gotta...